Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Leon Williams, in what year did you graduate? I graduated in 1974. And you know who was the second in that class? Me. No, no, me. You said it twice, you got it wrong. It was a tough. Okay, so what are you doing now, man? Oh. Oh, that much, huh? I'm a corporate owner. You're a corporate owner? My man. I sell insects. No. <laughs> well, I'm a corporate owner. I sell peanuts. <laughs> On the oh, Dan man. Ryan. Let's hook up. All right, hey, we'll do that. I'll talk to you a little later. Take it easy. All right. Hey, baby boy, tell me your name, what year you graduated? Willard Holland, 1975. 1975? Yeah, I was behind because you know, I joined the Army. Oh, okay, so. Uh, came back. And you came back. Yeah, so at least you didn't have no war or anything. Huh? Wasn't no war? Yeah, well. Well, what'd you call it? Uh, Girl, you was in, I get out of here, 1975. But anyway. I just retired. You just, oh, you retired? You went to Desert Storm? Yeah. You got some of them, um. You got some of them, um, uh, them sand fatigue? I got them all. Well, I need a pair, man. Hook me up. Can you hook a brother up? <laughs> I had to get them to my sister because she owns them too. Oh, yeah, okay. But anyway, um, what was your most memorable experience at high school? Remember when I threw Gene down those stairs? You said what? Remember when I threw that girl down the flight of stairs? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's, it. that's, that's it. it. That's it, man. Hey, that's, a, that's the that's experience. It. That's it, we right have to talk about that off tape, though. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you in a minute, man. Hey man, so what's up? Hey, we gotta give me your name and the year you graduated. Oh, well, I can be the test your memory. Forget it. you do know your name, right? Okay. So uh. Oh, oh, here we go. The dust is coming out. What? 1975. And you know, what, what was the most memorable experience of your high, high school? Homecoming. Hey, yeah, that was down, wasn't it? At the Hyatt and all that stuff. Where was it at? What was it at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you gotta see the gym. Yeah, okay, now you're talking about it. Balcony scene. No, no. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, I, got, I only got so much steak. I gotta cut you off, but I'll talk to you later. All right. Okay, oh, well, you can get the interview to last in. You gotta go back and go back. What's your name? Hi, I'm James Patrick. And then, did you know? uh, I, I, I attended Cooley uh, from 1960, 1964 to 66. And what was your most memorable experience? Uh, as a pianist, uh, working with uh, Marvin uh, Yancey and uh, playing the Wawa Tasty shells and all that kind of So you got anything else so I can buy on the disc? Oh, yeah. Uh, I like to promote my business for the most part. Okay, well, hey. I, tell uh, you. I own a home health care agency called Darien Home Health Care. We provide intermittent skill care for home health care patients. And then I'm an inventor. I've designed uh, specialized beds used for treatment of bariatric patients. Oh, so you're doing so it all. I always say you it's not where you're from, it's where you're going. Yeah, I heard that. Well, thank, thank you, brother. Man. Thank I'm going to get with well. you a little later. Okay. All right. How you doing? Fine, All right. Um, what's your name? What year did you graduate? Uh, 68. 68. What? What's your name? Jackson Brown. And uh, what was your me most memorable experience? This guy here. Uh, this guy here. What's your name, sir? Kurt. And uh, when did you graduate? Uh, when did I, I didn't. You didn't. <laughs> well, you just came to his graduation, huh? No, I did. I, they kicked me out, man. Oh, okay. Having too much fun. So what do you uh, what do you do now? I'm retired now. You retired? That's a good thing. Me too. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm an old man. Hey, old man. Oh, but hey, you are still here? That's cool. Okay. I'm glad to see you, man. Hey, man. And, and what do you do? You retired too? What? You retired too? I'm a paramedic. You're a what? I'm a paramedic. Paramedic? Okay, cool. That, that you, you, you might be needed later on tonight. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All when you right. see your face, start talking. Hello, what, give your name. Andre Story. Andre Story, what year did you graduate? 1975. 1975, and you know why you who? Bro! <laughs> 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 what's up, man? Hello, 
<laughs> so what was your most memorable uh, experience in high school? Justin Yeah, that's a good one. I love that one, didn't you? Awesome. How you doing? Tell me your name. Rolanda Butler. And <laughs> what year you graduated? 74. And who was the best student in this class? Jughead. Yes, yeah, Jughead. Oh, yes, yeah, it was. And the, no, no, the prettiest girl in the class was Rolanda. But so, um, what was your most memorable experience? Oh, lunch. It was lunch for me. Uh, hey, that was cool. Okay. So wait, you gotta let me take the picture. Uh, those that they left behind, and we lead them to an understanding that there's reality in serving you, the one true and living God. We ask now, Lord, during this time of fellowship, Father, that you would bind us closer together, Father. We pray that everything that we do, whether we eat or drink, whatever we do, we do it to your glory. We ask, Father, that you would bless this food and purify it, that it might be bountiful to our mortal bodies as your word is to our souls. We just love you and we praise you, Lord, for provision and for protection, most of all for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in whose name before his glory, we do not pray. Amen. Hey, let's go here. What's, uh, what's your name? My name is Jerry Hobbs. And you are going to soon be who? I'm soon to be Jerry Hobbs. And you graduated from Cooley in what year? 1965. 1965. So what was the most memorable thing you remember about high school? Uh, you did the chili. You did the splits in the whole thing? Pardon me? You did the splits in the whole thing? All of that and more. All right. Oh, I mean, I'm my woman. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you hear me. Not that near like you. I can't wait to get over it. Oh, I don't know. Glenda and Linda used to rub my hair all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah.
Okay, tell me your name. Mike and B. When did you graduate? 71. 71, and what was the most memorable experience in high school? Uh, first time was... When you what? What are you going to tell her? Hey, you know, seven years, you got this seven years thing where you can get away with it. It's been longer than seven years. The auditorium and we went and got it. Up, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Now, um, how, hey, did you come to the last one? You came to the last one, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna have a comparison tape because I think I got you on the last one too, right? Okay, well, hey, you stay straight, man. You too, man. All right. Okay, what's your name? Andrew Griffin. Andrew Griffin. And when did you um, graduate from Cooley? I graduated from Cooley in 1957. 1957. And you went to school with Jerry Butler and the group, huh? And what was the, the most... Same class who went to Jenner School. Oh, yeah? So you went to Jenner? Yeah. Oh, man. Jenner was around? <laughs> so uh, what was the most memorable um, memorable uh, moment in high school that you can remember? All of it. All of it. It, was all, it was all good, huh? It was all good. It was an experience, wasn't it? Right, right. Okay, well, thank you, my man. Hopefully, uh, you'll see this somewhere. All right. Now, give me your name. Dee Dee. Oh, excuse me. And uh, when did you go to Cooley? I know you didn't graduate from Cooley because you went somewhere else. Yes, I did. Okay, but you uh, went there when? Back to St. High School. Okay, well. I graduated in 1975. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. So, uh, what was your most memorable experience about being around Cooley? I came from Fashion Pro. Almost, almost. What do you do now? You're a professional uh, engineer. Not exactly. I'm getting there. I'm a computer technology. Right, that's cool. That's cool. Big money. And you travel around the world. I travel. Well, hey. Speak on. All right. Break them and I build them. We'll say goodbye. Bye. Good evening. And now that I have gotten some of your attention, give a big round of applause to Elba Austin. Yay! Let me say to you that Elba invited me to come here tonight and to talk about being a product of Cooley High. Well, we're going to set the record straight. What's your name? What is your name? Lord Knox. Lord Knox. And when did you get this? When did you graduate in 1970? You don't have to And uh, what was the most memorable uh, event? What was the most memorable event in the high school for you? Well, that we you did can... high school for the for the for the city champ. Ah, that's the bet. All right. That's the bet. Okay. Hi. Oh, what's your name? Am I good? You gotta press this thing Evan. now. Wait a minute. Evan Anthony. Oh, okay. Okay. And um, when did you uh, graduate? <laughs> I'm going to say, you don't look that old, man. I mean, you don't look that young. Okay. So, so we're trying to do a thing in this uh, multimedia uh, thing. What was the most memorable experience you had in uh, school? A lot of them. A lot of them. It was all good, huh? It was all good. Yeah, I don't think they could get. I don't think they could find something like that anymore. Do you? <laughs> all right, man. Well, you stay up. And what are you doing now? What's your job title? Engineer. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, hey, stay up. Peace out. All right, man. Yeah, jot down your number and your uh, your name. And uh, hey, Mr. Briscoe. Yeah. Mr. Briscoe. Yeah. Could you tell me what your um. Your years of rain at Cooley was? I was at Cooley Vocational High School from 1964 to 1975. And um, how many people would you have said that 
pass through the doors of your classroom? Well, I can't say it, but I can tell you, I graduated 12 to 14 every year. Oh, yeah? I had the highest number of graduates for any shopping at School of Vocational High School. So did you see a lot of them tonight? I saw most of them tonight, yeah. Did you, see, did you see guys who surprised you? That's right, and including yourself. <laughs> I'm always a surprise, Mr. Bristol. And I'm glad to see you're in such great health. You look better now than you did back then. Uh, Is it because you don't have us to bug, bug you? Uh, well, I'm like old pussy. I'm <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Turn that camera on. I'm gonna have the police coming in here. I got enough tape. I got enough tape. I got enough tape. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Brista came to us. Brista came to me. Hey, Brista, Brista is Mohammed. No Mohammed. You better understand. Nah, I know Mohammed. You better recognize. <laughs> you better recognize. My mother arrest me right now. You better recognize. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody, let, let Rose speak. Brista came to me. Let Rose speak. Me. Brista came to me. Brista came to my brother Rashid. Brista came to me. 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 Brista To us. <laughs> okay. What, what, this, what, what this is, this is, what this is the message that was delivered. <laughs> you said, hey, look, hey. You niggas need to quiet down. He said, you niggas making too much noise. Write this shit down, man. Right here. Oh, shit. Get that shit. Get that shit on paper. Okay. No. Nah. <laughs> You said Bristol said. Bristol said. <laughs> you nah, niggas. You said. Oh yeah. I uh, want. Uh, I got uh, this on uh, tape. Uh, Russ back. I'm gonna show this to Bristol. Uh, this is gonna be on Cooley I three. I got to throw at least another name. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be on Cooley three. Russ was there too. <laughs> Rudy 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 Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> street. Yes, sir. <laughs> you said. Bristol. I didn't say across the street. <laughs> I said in the street. They're gonna come and get oh, you, God. man. <laughs> hey, Crystal, Crystal said, hey, hey, you niggas. But right now, <laughs> you niggas need to quiet down. But right now, you said what Crystal said, right? So uh, you said. Uh, <laughs> I just said shit. Crystal said this shit. No, oh. you, I'm saying what Crystal said. In other words, Crystal said this shit. <laughs> Brista said, hey, you didn't do this quiet now. <laughs> and, and he said, yeah. he said hold up, hold up. Let's go get Pam, because she needs to rewrite this stuff. Cause she wasn't even there. I know. Turn that shit over there. She a lawyer. Why, why is he, why is he scrolling? She a lawyer, man. Why is he scrolling some dead sea shit? I ain't rolling. You scrolling some dead sea shit. See, if I ain't seen this shit. Just your head. See. I'm right off the top, though, man. Oh, boy, that was with Pam. He appreciate all that attention she was getting, man. Oh, yeah, he loved that shit. You think he loved that? Why did you guys talk about basketball when y'all was really good? He loved that. She was dying for us. I told her, I said, man, Pam, like, she made like, I don't know what's up. And then he's like, I don't know either, man. We bagged off. He's like, oh, oh, I ain't said that. Oh, man. Let that shit be known. I don't said, know what the hell he's talking about. Let that shit be known. Yeah, said, be known. Yeah, you hurt me, man. What the hell Russ talking about? You are hurting Russ, me. Russ on another kick. No, I'll tell you what's up, man. Let that shit be known. You said, what's up with that? I said, hell, Russ talking about. I, I, I ain't coming to you and tell no Pam, Pam, look this, Pam, look that. No, no, you told only me something about that. That's the only thing I can't answer is what the hell is. That's the only thing I ever said. <laughs> oh. What is his age? Yeah. That ain't what you said, though. What is his age? Where's yeah. age? Where's age? Right. That don't sound right to me. Right. <laughs> what the hell is Sa it? Say that. Get that. Say that about two, two times together. You're going to sound like that sound. Where's Abe? Right! That's right! right. <laughs> I know! I know! Where is Abe? Are you gonna tell me that? And know. this is one of the effects of alcoholism. Hey, hey. I've been drinking for 20 years. I ain't no alcoholic. Alcohol. What? <laughs> Ray on, where you going? Where you going? Stop, where you going? You better not move. Sit down here. Stop. Jesus. Jesus.
<laughs> hey, hey, oh. <laughs> you better stop it. Stop it. You better stop it. I can't pray. Somebody help me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing. You know what you really need? You remember how they broke them lights out and on it? And they came in there. You need some more. Hey, James. Hey, James. You need some more light behind you, bro. Because I do not want to get killed. Hey, yeah, uh, lay down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's still coming, man. It's still <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm giving you the pictures, though. That's straight, man. You got it on tape. So it's going to cost me 10 hours. Huh? It's going to cost me 10 hours. It ain't cost you nothing, man. It ain't going to pay. It ain't no pay. No, no, no. I need, you know, oh, no. I need to. I need to get the hidden shit out and over. No, but what you need to get? I mean, like, what you gonna get it for? What you gonna do that picture? You gonna give it to your parents or what? Nah, what you gonna I need do that. Yeah. You need it's, it for what? It's going to my house. <coughs> it's going to my mama house. Okay, cool. Well, I'll make sure it look proper. And if it don't, we can, I'll come back and take another one. It'll be instantaneous. Uh, it's... Okay? <laughs> the button's pushed. Not what you're talking about. I feel that Not what you're talking about. Um, yeah, we have, um... We have been to a, a reunion, a reunion of people over a span of years uh, that enjoy their life, that had attitude, that have seen troops rolling through the streets, shooting into their project buildings, and uh, been experienced to riots, um, blizzards, and survived. And we know a lot of people wow. that have died. I'm glad to be here. And as many as you can see that I've met and talked to, they're glad to be here too. The deal is, there's no more Cooley High. There will never ever be another graduate from Cooley High. There is a limit to Cooley High. And we are it. We are the last survivors. Just as we lived, we shall die at the end. We will remember celebrations, we will remember attitudes, we will have things that we will remember that we can't send our children to. As most people can, if your child goes to this school, it's the same school you went to, your daddy went to. But Cooley High was unique because our daddies didn't go there. We did. They told us we couldn't develop. We did. Now we're successful, we have money, we're rolling. And it's gonna to come to an end. Okay. So. so you know, you got into the middle of it. You might have seen a little event. You didn't see the back, the back scenes. You didn't see what the total celebration was. But you got some kind of flavor of what was going on. And I'm glad you was able to see it. And hopefully you can have something like we had in your life. But if you can't, <laughs> we did, and we do. Until the last person from Cooley High exists. Cooley will exist. It might not be forever, but it will be a long time. My name's Eddie.